In order to use the budgeting feature in Jonas, the first thing you need is a budget code. You can create a budget code one of two ways. The first is by going to General Ledger, Budgeting, and then Create slash Erase a Budget. Choose your company, and then you'll see a list of your existing budget codes, which you could double click on Add a New Budget to add a brand new, completely blank budget code to the system. Double click and give your budget a code, hit enter and then give it a description, and then hit OK to save it. You've now created a brand new blank budget code. The second way to create a budget code is to go to General Ledger, Budgeting, and then copy slash replace a budget. Choose your company, and then you can choose copy where it asks what would you like to do, and you can copy your old budget code, so say your current year's budget code, to a brand new budget code that you have to type in with a brand new budget code description. You also have the option when you're creating this new budget code, which will be an exact copy of the budget code you've selected in the from budget code field, to increase the original values by a certain percent. So for example, if you were copying your current year's budget code and just wanted to increase everything by 5%, you could key in a 5 here and you would have a brand new budget code with figures already entered in at an increase of 5% from your current year's budget code. Once you've decided what you wish to do, hit OK, and then Yes, and your new budget code will be created. To enter in budget figures to your newly created budget code, you can either enter them manually or upload them from an Excel spreadsheet. To enter them manually, go to General Ledger, Budgeting, and then Entry of Budget Figures, choose your company, and then it will ask you for a comparative year to help you with your budget. So this will show you the actual info for whichever year you put into this, this box. Choose your budget code and then choose the first GL account that you'd like to budget for. Key in the budgeted amount, and one thing to keep in mind is that if it is a revenue account, because the revenues go into the general ledger as a negative or a credit value, it needs to be keyed in and budgeted for as a negative. So for example, if we expect to make approximately 800,000, in January in revenue, that needs to be a negative number. Budget for each month, or you can key in the total year budget in the first line, and then use the F9 key on your keyboard to evenly distribute this amount. Once you've entered in all your budget figures for this general ledger account, hit next, and it will take you to the next GL account on the list where you can choose your department, and then key in your budget figures. Keep hitting next to go through all of your revenue and all of your expense general ledger accounts and when you're done hit OK and your budget figures are now saved. This is also where you'd go to make a change if you notice one or two general ledger accounts have the wrong budgeted value or you need to change just one or two GL accounts after you do your upload. To do an upload you have two options. You can either upload a budget from a spreadsheet or you can upload a departmental budget from a spreadsheet. Uploading a budget from a spreadsheet forces you to have a separate budget spreadsheet for each department. So if you use department codes in Jonas, you will need to have one spreadsheet for each department, and that spreadsheet will look something like this. The first column will have the general ledger account number. The second column will have the yearly total, or the second column will have the budget amount for the first month of your fiscal year. You will end up with a spreadsheet that looks something like this. Column one, GL account. Column two will be either the full total for the year and it will only be a two column spreadsheet or column two will be the first month of your fiscal year and then so on month two, month three, month four, all the way to the end. If you use a 13 period accounting system, there is a spot to put in that 13th month and also if you use subaccounts, there is a spot to budget for subaccounts. Once you've put in all your budget figures on your Excel spreadsheet, hit File and then Save As, and you should be able to save as type comma delimited or CSV. The second option is to go to Upload Departmental Budget from Spreadsheet. 
This allows you to have all departments on one spreadsheet. So you'll choose your company, then choose the budget code. The file that you'll need is going to look something like this. You'll have column one as a row counter, so all that will be is one, two, three, four, and it will go all the way down to the end of your spreadsheet. Column two is the department code. Column three will be the GL account. And then column four will be budget for month one of your fiscal year. And then so on and so forth all the way down to either your 13 period accounting or the valid sub account. The spreadsheet will look something like this. So you have the row counter, the department, the GL account, all of your fiscal months, as well as the sub account. This also needs to be saved as a .csv file. So again, once you've put in all your budget figures, go to file and then save as and choose .csv and you'll be able to upload it by selecting the file name here and then hitting OK. Once your budget figures are uploaded, you will be able to edit them and you can do that by going to entry of budget figures and just pulling up that specific GL and department that needs to be edited. To double check the newly inputted numbers on your budget, go to General Ledger, Budgeting, and then Print Budget Listings. Choose your company, then choose your budget code, and then you can choose the statement design, and these correspond with your financial statements, as well as the option to print just the income statement, or if you do budget on your balance sheet, the balance sheet as well. There are four formats, budget printout, which is just a printout of the budget figures, budget printout with sub account, which includes sub accounts if you have them, a worksheet, which is just blank and allows you to actually input the budget figure, so it doesn't actually include any numbers, and then report worksheet budget versus actual, which will print out your budget numbers as well as your actual numbers to allow you to compare. The statement type can be company statement, which is all departments, or individual departments, which gives you a department per page, or you can choose selected departments and have them either print on one page each or have them be summarized. So you could choose two or three departments, but have them print on one consolidated report. There are also options to choose the presentation. And if you are doing a budget versus actual, you can choose a projected budget code as well as a next year budget code. Hit print and then view, and you can see your budget compared with your actuals as well as the two other budget codes that you've chosen all on one report. So you can see for each general ledger account, I have prior year actual, I have the current budget which is the budget code I chose at the top of that report entry screen, I have this year projected and next year budget. So these two were ones that I've chosen at the bottom of that entry screen. You can also choose a more basic format, like the budget printout, and you actually have the option at the bottom to export, which would send it right to Excel in a format that you could upload it back into Jonas. So after you choose export and then export again, it will open up in Excel at the very bottom of your screen, where you'll have to click on it to open it. And then you'll be able to enter in your budget or edit any budget numbers and actually re-upload this format comes out in almost the exact format that you need to do the upload budget from spreadsheet. You'll just have to delete the GL description and the total year column, and you actually have all of your fiscal year numbers as well as the budgeted amounts. There are two spots that you can include your budget code in reports, and the first one is your financial statements. Go to General Ledger, Design, and then Financial Statement Report Generator to start adding your budget code to your financial statements. Budget codes in financial statements are static, so even though it might not be the current year anymore, you do have to come in and actually manually change that budget code. So any of the fields that are on your reports that are a budget or a B data code will have a budget down in the calc line. So you can see, for example, this one is 2018. You can change this by just double clicking on that cell or using your F2 lookup key to 2019, but if you are a club that has a lot of financial statements, what you can do instead is at the end of every year, go to change budget codes in financial statement, choose your company, and then choose what you'd like to change from and what you'd like to change to. 
You can choose to change all of your financial statements or just certain ones, but what this does is it will find all occurrences of the 2018 budget code and upgrade it to the 2019 budget code. Hit OK to make the change. You can also report on budget codes under Administration, Master Generator, and then Master Gen Design Reports. So if you have any Master Generator reports, you can include your budget numbers there. Once again, they are static. So when you open up your report, you could have a line for budget, any of the data under the GL Financial Data header, and then the budget header requires a budget code. So if we were to look here at the this month budget column, you can see the type of data is BM, which is budget for the month. And if it is a budget, I do need to use a certain budget code. So to change it, I would have to go into each cell and change it individually or I could go to budget code and you'll have to do this for each report and change all occurrences of one budget code to another budget code. So again, it's like a find and replace. We'll find all occurrences of 2018 and upgrade it to 2019. Hit OK to make your change. You can also view your budget numbers for a specific GL by going to general ledger, inquiries, and then GL account inquiry. Choose your company and then choose a GL account and a department and you'll see not only the actual balances and transactions for that GL account, but if you click view budget down at the bottom and select the budget code you wish to compare against, you can actually see the numbers, the actual numbers, the budget numbers, and the difference between the two.